You know what's really fascinating about the human body, or any really mammalian body, is we have the ability to change the course of our lives from sort of a cellular standpoint. Now, maybe you've heard of autophagy before. Maybe you're wondering what the heck it actually is. Well, this video is all about giving you a very basic breakdown and a kind of fun analogy to help you really just gain an understanding of what's happening inside your body when it's undergoing autophagy. Okay, so in short, autophagy is a cellular sort of recycling. It's the survival of the fittest within your body. As components of your body's cells begin to get weaker or potentially die off, they get recycled and provide our stronger cells with more fuel. So I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine that your body is a bakery. Okay, you're running a bakery and you have no trash cans at all. You have no ability to throw anything away. So you're making bread, you're making cake, you're making cupcakes, but you have no trash cans. So you have two options here. Option one, you could mash it all up and try to plunge it down the toilet, and that might work for a little bit. The other option is, well, we've got all this waste, let's get creative with it, okay? So maybe you were making some kind of uh, banana cake and you have a bunch of bananas left over. Rather than mash them up and try to flush them down the toilet, you say, let's take these bananas and let's make a banana pudding, okay? Or maybe you have a bunch of chocolate chips left over. Rather than trying to flush those down the toilet, you get creative and you take those chocolate chips and you melt them down and you make a chocolate bar and you sell it and you get some energy, you get some money from it, right? Okay, this is the whole process of autophagy in a nutshell. It's your body getting creative with the recycling. Hey, I wanna make sure you do hit that subscribe button down there really quick. Okay, so we got new videos coming out literally every day at 7.30 a.m. Pacific time. So you wanna hit that subscribe button and you also wanna make sure you're navigating to my channel just about every day if you want a new video. Okay, also wanna make sure you check out Four Sigmatic down below in the description. So Four Sigmatic is a mushroom coffee with like lion's mane and reishi. It's got a world of just all kinds of benefits when it comes down to fasting, keto, autophagy, you name it. So I just wanna give them a big shout out. Also special discount for anyone that does wanna check them out via this video. So description, uh, there's a link down below after you watch this video, of course. Okay, so now that you understand the bakery analogy, uh, let's compare that to what happens inside our bodies. Okay, so our bodies are operating nice and efficiently, but there's some metabolic cellular waste. Well, our body has that same option. It can grind it up through what's called a uh, proteasome, okay, also known as like a molecular food processor. We have that. Okay, so this proteasome can take all the extra components and it can mash it up. And then it can try to flush it out through our body's glymphatic system. This is option one, and it's a somewhat inefficient and somewhat toxic process. The other option is it can recycle it. Oh, wait, there's extracellular parts? Well, let's plug them in and use them somewhere rather than try to mash them up and just get rid of them, okay? So that's what's happening in your body. So we have autophagy occurring in three forms. Okay, I'm gonna address all three, but I'm gonna focus on just one because it's the basic and the main one. The first one is called chaperone autophagy. And just like the name implies, it's where a chaperone protein or an escort protein goes out and it grabs other proteins and it brings them back into the right area of the cell and it breaks them down for fuel. The other kind is microautophagy. Microautophagy is also known more as like cellular drinking. Okay, it's where uh, the cell essentially drinks some of the cellular fluid and kind of gains energy from that. So it can kind of mash it up into a fluid and drink it. It's kind of complicated to explain. That's the simplest way to break it down. The other form, the form that you're probably most familiar with or that you've heard reference before, is called macroautophagy. So macroautophagy is where what's called cytoplasmic cargo basically gets engulfed by something called an autophagosome. This autophagosome is like a big mouth in a way, and it goes out and it engulfs all the cytoplasmic cargo. It brings it into the lysosome where it fuses with the lysosome. And I know this is complicated stuff and I'm trying to make it simple. But basically, the big mouth goes out and grabs the wasted parts. It's like a, a giant excavator. It's like a giant claw and it goes out and just grabs it and brings it in. And then it fuses in the lysosome and it becomes energy, it becomes new parts, it becomes fuel, okay? So pretty fascinating stuff. Now this is what's happening for the most part when we're fasting, when we're exercising, stuff like that. The cool thing is, is that autophagy doesn't just recycle proteins. It can recycle entire organelles. For example, the mitochondria that gives us energy, that processes energy, the entire mitochondria can be recycled via autophagy. In fact, it has a name, it's called mitophagy. 
Okay, kind of fun. But basically what that tells us is if we allow our body to go through this autophagy, we can reset and just cleanse our body and allow our body to start over. That's why so many people that do long periods of fasting or intermittent fasting for a while, they say that they change their body. They're like, my body utilizes energy different. It's a, I'm a whole different person. And that is not an exaggeration. You can become a different person because your body metabolizes things entirely different. Okay, now let's talk about a few ways that you can induce autophagy. Number one is exercise. Okay, studies have shown that exercise doubles the rate of autophagy. So while you're exercising, you can be recycling mitochondria. You can be recycling cells. So no quicker way to get your body more efficient than to exercise. Okay, the next one is, of course, fasting. See, fasting activates AMPK. AMPK is an energy sensor in your body, and I want you to envision it like this. You have all kinds of sensors in your car, right? So if your car senses that you're low in fuel or your O2 sensor pings you, your check engine light's gonna come on, right? And your car might start to do different things. Well, your body has sort of a check engine light in some ways too. So it's like your body says, uh-oh, there's no food in the system. So AMPK, the check engine light comes on and that tells the body to start using fuel from your stored tissues, okay? This process of activating AMPK automatically promotes the production of autophagosomes, but promotes autophagy to occur. So fasting makes you go through this autophagy process. Now imagine exercising while fasting, double autophagy, right? Okay, the next thing that you can add to this mix is green tea. There was a study that was published in the journal PLOS1 that found that green tea directly ends up increasing hepatic autophagosomes. So that means autophagosomes in the liver which means we're able to detox, we're able to recycle cells, we're able to recycle cellular parts. Really powerful stuff. Okay, so green tea is a great way to just add to this. Fasting, exercise, green tea, okay? Then when you do eat, if you eat a ketogenic diet, that's really going to help you out here. And this isn't just a push to try to convert you over to keto at all. It's just the truth, okay? Ketones have sort of a uh, dual ability. They have an ability to bind to G-couple receptors uh, called HCAR2, having a genetic effect that activates something known as sirtuins. Okay, these sirtuins have an anti-aging effect, but their anti-aging effect is largely in part due to the increase in autophagy that occurs. So the ketogenic diet, just by producing ketones, induces autophagy. So fasting, exercise, green tea, and then of course, utilizing a ketogenic diet. But you don't have to use all of these, you can use bits and pieces. And the last one I wanna talk about is implementing some reishi mushroom now and then. Remember I talked about Four Sigmatic at the beginning, but you don't have to get it through them. It's just reishi mushroom in general, whether you get it on Amazon or whatever, is very powerful at increasing the number of autophagosomes in your body. Okay, helping you out with that overall cellular recycling process, mitochondrial recycling, and everything you need to be a new you and essentially feel good. So as always, I do ask that you keep it locked in here on my channel. And as a matter of reference, we do post videos every single day, okay? So I wanna make sure that you come back and visit every morning at 7.30 a.m. Pacific time because you might not get notifications. But do know that we are posting every single day. So that way you never miss a beat. See you soon, thanks for watching.